Hey everybody, just another engine update. So the first thing you'll see is now I have a skybox. For my skybox, what I'm doing is I'm just drawing a cube uh, positioned at the camera. And I draw it last. And when I draw it, I use this shader that forces it to be as far as possible. So I'm using a reverse depth buffer. So a final Z of zero, like a final depth of zero, means it's it's at the far Z. It's as far as it could be. The closest Z would be uh, one at the end. Which So if I was using a normal depth buffer and I wanted to draw this uh, as far away as possible, I would just set the Z equal to uh, the W. So then when it gets outside of the vertex shader and it does the W divide for everything, then the Z would it would become one after that divide happens. But I want it zero because I'm doing the reverse depth buffer. Uh, the next thing is I was working on adding uh, LODs as well as adding instancing. So before in my last video, I was getting FPS drops when I loaded uh, these ambulances in. Now I'm able to get about, I mean, it depends on the distance. If I get further away, it's a lower LOD. So you can see the FPS uh, goes up. But uh, yeah, I'm getting, if I'm drawing a bunch of the same thing, uh, is a big performance boost to do instancing. And then as well as, uh, let's see if we can kind of see the LOD transitions. I, I'm a, I can see them on my computer. I don't know how well it will show up in the video recording. Uh, but yeah, just depending on the distance, it chooses the LOD to use. There was another thing I added in. Uh, I realized... Well, there's, there's two things, actually. So before, I was doing multi-threading um, so that my my I didn't get stuck in the Windows modal loop when I was resizing. Then I found out there's a way simpler way to handle this. So I got rid of separating my rendering thread and my engine thread. And I also fixed an issue where when I was resizing and the ultralight view got resized, there was a situation where the view would have to, I guess, like rebuild the DOM, so it would be loading. So it would disappear when I was resizing. And what I did was whenever I resize a view, I, I have a staging texture now to store whatever it was until the loading finishes and then switch to the new texture. So let me see if I can uh, easily make it like what it was before, just to show what that looked like. Yeah, so now when I'm resizing an HTML view, I am, uh, you know, creating this temporary texture to use. And I am just going to comment that out. And I think it should be the old behavior. Yeah, so this was the old behavior where you see it's flashing. Uh, obviously, that's bad. So that doesn't happen anymore. So that's good. I don't think I have any other updates going on. I need to... Um, I think the next thing I'm going to do is probably add shadows and then I might look into implementing some kind of forward plus uh, rendering, but I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. But I think the next thing on the to-do list is to add in shadows. Yeah, that's my update and thanks for watching.